how y'all been doing? What's on your heart tonight? It's so amazing, Papa, this teaching that you've been you've been giving us this day, well, every day, and all the wisdom that you've been giving us to to perfect that uh, yeah. that that thing that God has called us to do. And something very powerful that stood out to me when you when you talk about Moses, mm-hmm. when he's in a he's in the assignment, but he also said, if if you don't go with me, mm-hmm. I don't want to go. I want to make sure that you are going with me to fulfill this assignment that you have for me in my yeah. life. Yeah. And 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 you just mentioned it right now. Uh, in the natural CPR is mouth to mouth, mm-hmm. but in the spirit is mouth to mind. Mm-hmm. When you decree, you focus in your mind into uh, a, a picture of what God has for you. Mm-hmm. That's the importance of you decreeing things and and something very powerful that you said that the thing that you don't ask for, you will not have in your life. Mm-hmm. That that you don't ask for, you won't have in your life. Mm. Mm. What's your what, what's your take to so what, what you say? That was powerful. The the ask, seek mm-hmm. find. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. When you're talking about the financial anointing. Yeah. When you were talking about patience, mm-hmm. I saw the in the word patience the first sign is pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Bible says in Proverbs, you gotta buy the truth, sell it, you know, mm-hmm. buy mm-hmm. understanding. Um, those mm-hmm. things come through sowing and reaping. Um, but not just money. Mm-hmm. It's not just about the money. Because what we talked about last night, mm-hmm. um, and Ecclesiastes, you sow seven, eight. But you may not, you told us, you may not have money. You may not have, you know, seven seeds to sow every day. So what do mm-hmm. you sow when you don't have money? Mm-hmm. What do you pay to God so that you can receive when you don't have money? And so you, you pay your heart and your mind and your soul and your time. Mm-hmm. And once you master that, then that's when the patience comes. Right. That's when the truth comes, understanding, wisdom. So mm-hmm. it's all kind of, but, but then in the midst of all that, you still have to ask. Exactly. The simplicity of asking. Mm-hmm. That is deep. Mm-hmm. And just think about for the disciples, ask what you will that your joy may be full. Mm-hmm. This is the mind of God towards the sower, the person that has chosen to invest their life into spirit-led activity. Mm -hmm. What is a sower? A person that has chosen to invest their life in spirit-led activity. What is a sower? A person that has chosen to invest their life in spirit-led activity. That's what a sower is. When you say I am a sower, you're saying I'm investing my energy in what the spirit lacks. Mm -hmm. I'm investing my time in what the spirit lacks. Because what did the word of God say in Galatians? I think that's Galatians. It says he that soweth to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. So sowing is the path to everlasting life. It is an eternal life mantle. When a person starts to sow, it's eternal life that you are now receiving. That's why, son, if you sow a seed of anything that the spirit wants, whether it's money, whether it's mind, whether it's mouth, whether it's speech, movement, whether it's reaction. That seed is going into your, not only your today, but in your eternity. Mm-hmm. It's not just going into today. It's going into your eternity. So when you think about the apostolic ability that's given to a person that chooses to sow, God gives more grace to the sower. Who is the humble? The sower. Mm-hmm. He gives more grace to the humble. The humble is the sower. The humble is the person that said, I want to now invest my learning, my focus, 
my actions, my relationships into the Holy Spirit schedule. So he gives, okay, so uh, Apostle James had the revelation that he gives more grace to the humble. But Apostle Paul had the revelation that God is able to make all grace. So Apostle James talked about more grace. Apostle Paul talked about all grace. And Apostle Paul said, you can't get to all grace unless you sow it. A corrupt sower son was so money and rob mine. So money and rob relationships. So money and steal sanctification from God. God still see you around everybody, around everything, and involved in everything. The Bible said Job had a hedge around his life as he was sowing. So when you sow it, that means that God places a grace on you that everybody not supposed to get near you. Wow. 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 That's so powerful. It was a hedge around his life. So sowing brings a hedge, which means that God wants to be in influence of who can come into you and who goes out of you. Who is in your presence and who goes out of your presence. He wants to control that. Wow. He wants to filter you. Mm -hmm. He wants to be able to narrate your environment. Wow. He wants to be the film director of who is conversing with you. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. On the day where the woman sinned, do you think that when she woke up, she praised God? <laughs> On the day where Eve ate of that tree with the serpent, do you think that she spent time with the Lord that day? What you think? Uh, I will say no. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm um, going back to asking uh, of the Lord, like yeah. asking, uh, give me the grace to be a uh, help me, give me the grace to not make mistakes, give me the grace of uh, mm -hmm. uh, staying faithful. Mm -hmm. To, to the Lord mm -hmm. she didn't pray she didn't have that conversation with the Holy Spirit with the Lord in, in that garden so her soul was already in the atmosphere of sin before the demonstration of sin mm -hmm. Whoa. so a lot of times in your life you're already in the atmosphere of backsliding before you actually backslide Whoa. you're in the atmosphere of dishonor before you actually dishonor you're in the atmosphere of betrayal. Son, did you know I was reading today while we was uh, uh, working? And what I read was Judas sought to betray Jesus. The Bible didn't say that he betrayed him because they had not yet gone to that last supper and he had not released them yet. The Bible said before that, while Jesus was in the house in Bethany, that here comes Judas seeking how to betray Jesus. And when he spoke with the Pharisees, they said, it's not good that we take him during the feast because it might be an uproar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Judas was in the atmosphere before the action. When you are a sower, you have an ability and a grace given to you to recognize the atmospheres that's not of God that you're in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 That's why he that teaches you to sow is the wisest person you ever met in the history of your life. You have never met a person wiser than the person that anoints you to sow. Mm -hmm. Who's the most important person in your life? Your mom. Wrong. Who's the most important person in your life? Your, 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 your marriage partner. Wrong. Who's the most important person in your life? Your child. Wrong. Who's the most important person in your life? The most important person in your life 
is the Holy Ghost taking on human flesh to teach you how to sow. Mm -hmm. Because the person that anoints you to sow is anointing you how to cut atmospheres that principalities have been placing as a covering over generations before you. And they didn't recognize they was in the atmosphere of homosexuality before the act of homosexuality. Are you hearing this? They was in the act atmosphere of smoking weed before the act of smoking weed. And remember, if I could catch the atmosphere, I could walk in preventing it rather than repenting from it. I don't have to repent, I can prevent, mm -hmm. which is higher, mm -hmm. prevention. Wow. Because I discern the atmosphere before the act could take a, a solid flow, take root in my behavior. What's y'all take on this before? <laughs> wow. It's so amazing, Papa, how you say that the Holy Ghost will take into a, in a person's body to teach you how to sow the importance and the blessing that we have in JHM, Papa. Mm -hmm. As we were um, looking at um, Ecclesiastes 11.2, I believe, where it says, give a portion of seven mm -hmm. and a portion of eight, which uh, you don't know what eight was on the earth. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that we have a cheat sheet with you. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's you have a cheat sheet with you because you're already telling us, uh, be careful of not falling from stairs. Mm -hmm. Be careful of car accidents. Yeah. Be careful of letting the wrong person come mm -hmm. into your life. Mm -hmm. Be careful of going to the store at late night hours. Mm -hmm. You are already telling us the evil that's on the earth. And you as a sower, you, you are bringing that hedge of protection over your life when you sow into this, uh, the prophet, this rich soil. And in this dispensation, in the glory that he's at right now, it's so mighty, the harvest that you're going to receive afterwards you sow not only your money but when you sow yourself your heart your attention your mind mm -hmm. when you bring pleasure into into our prophet that's when you see all those desires that you had in your heart come true in your life mm -hmm. yeah. son when you bring in pleasure to me what what the understanding of bringing pleasure to the soul of your apostle, them able to look at you and enjoy you. What do you think happens to an individual financially, mentally, physically? What is what are they coming underneath? What are they being clothed with? They're being clothed with the same glory that you are carrying with your with your angels, with the with the same blessings that you are receiving. You become Prophet Joshua home in the spirit. And something very mighty and powerful that when you focus on your prophet, because he's your number one investor in your life. Always so. Always so. Always so. Always. It doesn't matter the time, the day. We could be eating a Big Mac right now. And he's so so in all the time. He's Dreaming gonna... about a Big Mac right now. <laughs> Number one investor in your life, and he should be your main priority in your life. I want to know who do you know in your life will go hungry for hours just to feed you? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And not for 18 years, for years. <laughs> <laughs> and do it joyously, a cheerful soul. Yes. Wow. God loveth a cheerful soul. Because when you're cheerfully sowing, you're not just doing the ministry unto God, but God is able to receive all of your passion and your atmosphere in the activity. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on, on, on this? What, what's the, what do you think transactions for people when they sow? Because I, I've seen a lot of elevation with you, sir. Ever since I brought you, I, I see a lot of elevation. I see you going from glory to glory. I see you keep on taking on new levels of wisdom and, 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 and grace and becoming more gracious. That's my favorite word in this season. Gracious. I like greatness. I like gracious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, 
Just, just, just say this before you just say something. <laughs> <laughs> Before you, before, you, before you say that gospel music is a, before, <laughs> <laughs> before, before, just say this, just say, I, I am gracious. I am gracious. I. I. <laughs> <laughs> See, I pulled back, I recognize it with nighttime. <laughs> I am gracious. I am gracious. S say it again. I am gracious. I am gracious. Say it the last time. I am gracious. I am gracious. When you understand what that means, that means that you are overflowing with God's personality and ability. So what are you about to say? Go ahead. When you sow to, to Papa, he is a pure vessel. A pure vessel of gold. Um, when you're sowing into him, the seed will be purified. It's like it goes through the fire. And then, I mean, everything happens when you sow into Papa. So you don't have to be concerned about, oh, well, you know, I've given to other men of God and nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. um, this is not a pumpkin type of thing. But, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, <laughs> pumpkin pie <laughs> But he is a pure vessel. And so <laughs> the joy comes when you keep sowing into him. He's like the mama biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> mama biscuits. <laughs> Go ahead, son. I hear what you say. So so <laughs> there's no there's no um defiling or, or damaging your seed. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> when it goes into Papa, it's pure. When it comes back to you, the harvest is pure. That's you right. just got to keep doing it. He's he's the new. He's the. He is Jacob's ladder, but he's Apostle Prophet Joshua Holmes' ladder. This is a continuous flow. And just think about that. The sowing anointing lets the ladder legacy continue. Mm -hmm. 